Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make customized pop-up text in iMovie just like this or this. Because when you make regular text in iMovie, you can't really customize where it is placed, how, I mean, you can customize how big it is, but it's very finicky. And honestly, it just doesn't look as good and it looks pretty cheap and, it, and it's a pretty obvious iMovie default thing. So to make your own custom pop-up text will make it look super good and professional. Here is how to do that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is make the text. I'm personally gonna use Pixlr and I recommend using Pixlr while following this tutorial, although you can use any website you'd like. So just click on Trifoto Editor Pixlr X and then click Create New. You can use whichever one you'd like, but I'm personally just gonna use Web Small. And then click Create. And then you have this PNG background, which is great because then the background is transparent and that is what you want, unless you want a background, which you probably wouldn't. So you're just going to type whatever you want in there. I'm just gonna go subscribe. And then you can click on whatever text you want or font. There's a specific one I'm looking for. It's this one. Um, let's see. You can use whatever font you want, obviously. So you can just play around with all of the different settings that are on here. This obviously doesn't look the best, but I'm just using this as an example. So then you're gonna want to go to size, make that bigger. Although no matter how big it is, you can change the size in iMovie. And then you just want to save it. So you can do this for, um, photos as well, like stickers, literally anything you want, honestly. I always just do really bizarre names for my file names, which if you've seen on my um, desktop here, there's all kinds of weird stuff, just because I like to have a lot of really bizarre things because it's easier to remember. So then you're gonna want to open up iMovie. I just have, I've gone through and edited this already. So I have these little marks of where the text needs to go. So then I'm just going to add my text. I'm actually gonna use a different one that I already made and then I'll use the second one next. But you just want to drag it to wherever. I mean, you don't have to do that yet, but you just want to click on it, click on picture in picture and then click on the crop button and go fit. Go back here. And then you can move this to be however you're set, like whatever size you want, wherever you want it. Okay, and then down here where there's these little thingies you can move, you want them all the way at the end so that it's at zero so that it doesn't have any sort of fade or anything. And then you just want to watch over your footage and see exactly where you want it to start and stop. That's actually pretty good. So now I'm going to add some audio. Obviously you don't have to do this. This is optional, but you just want to go to sound effects or you can use sound effects from whatever website, of course, or like the YouTube audio library has some really good sound effects. But I really like this bottle cork sound to sound kind of like a popping sound, I guess. So I'm just gonna put that right there and then... So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna show you guys one more time with my second thing since I have two of them on there. You will have already seen all of this because it's on my, like it's on the intro to this video. So you just want to make sure that you're clicked on this Let's just go here first. Fit, picture in picture, and then you can move it wherever you want. And it's kind of like ghosted right now because those little circles are moved in. 
so it's at like a dissolve feature right now. So you're going to move those back. If you want it to dissolve in and out, you can just leave it like how it is, but if you don't want it like that, then you can move it. So I'm probably just gonna go like right there, make that like that. Okay, and then we're gonna add the sound in again. Okay, so I actually really like that. So I'm just gonna leave it right like that. You can monkey around with everything as much as you would like until it looks perfect. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions about how to do this still, ask me in the comments down below. Or if there are any other iMovie type videos that you would like to see, just let me know and I will definitely try to make those in the future. Other than that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.